Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to City Skylines. We've got our brand new district over here, busy working away. All of the oil being extracted, the pollution spreading out. A horrible plague upon the land. But it's still going alright. We've, we've got this over here. We're, I was thinking that we wanted to put more trash up here somewhere so that um, it would have better access to it. Because I don't think... Um, we've actually got a very good trash service. It comes all the way over here. The rest of it seems clear, but that one there doesn't. I suppose it should be all right, shouldn't it? Hmm. I still think we need some extra. We, we need just a little bit more up into the mountains. So that one's going well over there. I said what I wanted to do was I wanted to see what I could squeeze out of all of the toll roads and see what kind of cash I could get from it. Doesn't look like it slowed the incoming traffic down at all at the moment. And we look here, charges last week, 68. We've got cars going through, quite a lot of them, and that's coming in and out. Now, I've actually put them up to 150 and 3 rather than 1 and 2. So I've, I have boosted the amount that we're getting from them by a little bit. So I'd like to do a similar thing over here. Go all the way over this side. Uh, I'm not sure how far, because I'm not sure how big we're going to end up making this city, but I reckon we'll sort of do it somewhere around here. So if we start by removing a chunk of the road, that, then we can take two toll bridges down here. Uh, we can just go to our roads, and we can go to the tolls, and then we can go to here, one-way large toll booth. So I want to put that one... Ooh! We've got a waste oil refining plant, large oil drilling rig, oil industry maintenance building, large crude farm, and a petroleum refinery available to get. Well, we'll deal with that in a minute. We're not going to deal with that just yet. So this one, I want to put that one kind of there. Now, which way are we going? That's inwards there. So we'll put that one there like that. And then I want another one that goes the other way. That way. And that one will go up next to it. And that one will go right there. Like that. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. Try and get this lined up. That one will go there. Okay, so we've got that one there all beautifully lined up. Then we can go back over to here and we can take that one. And we can go with you there and we go like that. That'll join in there quite nicely, and then you will go and join in there quite nicely. And then we'll do the same over this side. So, we want to go from you over there, go out at 180, and that'll join in there. And then you here, you will go out, and you will join into there. So, that's actually quite smooth. A, a smooth, easy, simple transition on that. I need water for this, and this is something I don't understand, is why I need water for it. So we'll do a... Oh, hang on. Doesn't want me to do that. We'll do one there out of that corner. That'll go up there like that. And I'm also going to need power. So we'll take a power line from... I was going to say from the airport, but I won't. I'll actually take it from here, from this side. And I'll go across to there, and then I will go up to there like that. Then I will go healthcare, emergency services like this to the fire, and I will drop one of those there, one of them there, and one of them over there. That's going to clear away potential fire all around here, except for actually the two trees that are right next to it. But still, that's fine. We're going to leave them there. So then I go to you, and I put the ticket price up so that we got $150 and $3, and it's going to be the same on this side. 150 and three dollars on there. So there's another section done. All finished. Traffic coming in and out of the city is going to be paying us loads of cash. So who else have we got coming into and out of the city? We got one road there. We got one road there. We got one road over here, and we've got one road over here. So this one here, I'm going to put next. I'm going to put one right there. That's where we're going to work on. So we're going to you. And I want to remove this section here. Like that. And then I can go there and I can go to this toll here. So that one 
goes from that direction. So I want to put that one kind of there. I'm curious, if I put these two right next to each other, and then I use the upgrade tool, that one, can I upgrade it to go around the other way? It doesn't do the upgrade tool to go around the other way. Right. Uh, you right there. Relocate building. So, no, it doesn't do the upgrade tool to put it around the other way. I've actually got to manually flip it round. So, let's right-click on the ground and then drag to flip it round. So, I'll move that one over that way a little bit. Not by much. Up that way a bit, maybe. And there. Right. That's fairly well lined up now. So then we can go and... Yeah, you've got multiple problems. I'm sure you do. So we will go to that one there. And then we go like this. Join you in. We go like that and join you in. Then we do the same out of this side. Like that. That's not quite the smooth transition there that I like. But uh, it's not bad. It's, it's not actually too bad. And then we go here to water. Where is our nearest water? That is over here. So we'll take it straight out of that corner there. And we go up like that. And then we've also got some power down here somewhere. Which we need to run out. So I want to go out like that. There we go. Across there. And then straight across and join that up to there. And then I want to go to this one here, and I want to make sure that I'm not going to get fire breaking out in this area, out of city limits. There. Right. We don't want to go out of city limits. Is that all you're going to do? Oh, th there we go. Right, it did finally catch up. Okay. So there's another one, and now I want to just increase the charges a minute. Put that up, uh, $150 and $3. We could go all the way up to max, $2, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go $150 and 3 I suppose it's monies, really. We don't know if it's um, dollars or euros or pounds or what. It seems to be an amalgamation of every currency symbol that there is. So there's that one done, and then I want another one over here. So this, all this doing at the moment is allowing the... It's, it's just like... Charging the traffic that's coming into the city as it is. We're not doing any additional changes at the moment. However, we will be doing additional changes. We are going to be adding more stuff in yet. This one down here is taking the unique factory products. We've got this one up here that's working nicely producing clothes. Um, if we have a look overall with the money... Oh, uh, it's not that one. Someone said here, no... That there was a thing I could look at that would show my unemployment. Oh, is there an employment thing on here? What's that? Post offices, industry, tourism. That there was actually an employment thing. We got levels. I got population here. This is... Oh, there. People employed. Population, 195,000. Jobs available, 91. So unemployment, 14%. Because unemployment at 14% is not too bad, really. Um, so there are a load of jobs available, even though all of these are saying that they've got no employees, which seems a little odd. Oh, no, not enough customers. They don't have customers. So we got the employees, we just don't have the customers. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what to do about that. I'm not going to worry about it, actually. So, the other thing that I needed to do, we've got one more set of toll booths to do, but before we get on to that... We've got some names that we need to add in. I've got a few. The first one is one that I should have added in last uh, last month, by the way. I'm very, very sorry for this. Scott, the Aussie, you should have been in here already. Um, I'm very sorry for overlooking you. So Scott, the Aussie, has now taken control of the main oil industry area. So then we've got the Lin Cooper District up here, the Aspen Heights and the so i got henry ashworth plantation there i got dever 2018 industries and down here i got lynch complex uh lynch isn't actually a name on my list 
So I got Cooper District here. That one needs to be renamed. Um, although I'm, I don't actually think that I want districts out here. That was the other thing, was that I wasn't sure that I wanted districts here. Um, so I'm going to wait and sort of see on that one because I've got two of them here that I'm trying to, like, separate out. I've got the Cooper District and I've got the Lynch Complex, but it won't let me click on... I can only click on one of them. Uh, well, this is awkward. Right. In order to be able to correct that, I think what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to have to go like that. So that's the Cooper District there. So if I expand the Cooper District that way a little bit, it's moved the name. There we go. Right. That makes it a bit better. So there we go. We've got the Lynch Complex. I'm just going to give this one a single name. This is Mafia X Phantom. This one is Mafia um, X Fa oh, sorry. Phantom in there. So there's that area there. That's the, the zoned industry. And then we've got the Agricultural Zone. Now this one is a little bit more awkward as... Comp Techie, I'm calling you. I, d I don't know what it's supposed to be, but the Comp Techie. You, you are called Comp Techie from this point on. Um, I may even respell it at some point just to make life easier for me. Uh, purely because I'm being selfish. Uh, right, so we've got Aspen Heights right there. That one also needs to be renamed to uh, Dan Space and then IL like that. And then finally I got one more, which is not the Henry Athworth Plantation. Um... More district. There. This one is now named Douglas Campbell. At least I think it is. I'm 99% I'm certain that Douglas Campbell doesn't actually have an existing district. Uh, this is where I find out that he does. And I've actually overlooked the name in the book. But there are some new names. Mafia X Phantom. Comp Techie. Uh, Daniel. Douglas Campbell. And then over here we've got Scott the Aussie. So that is people who have supported me on Patreon and or have um, been active members of the community uh, on YouTube for a while. So that is making comments, replying to other people's comments, helping out with inquiries and that sort of thing. Um, just generally being active in the comments section on YouTube on various different videos. There's, I do lots of different videos, so... Um, you don't necessarily have to be active on all of them because you, they may not all be of interest to you. But being active on the ones that are of interest does earn you a place on the books. So, here we go. Those are all named Frith Guardians. You are all my Frith Guardians. I consider each and every one of you that is watching right now a Frith Guardian. Uh, but to be a named Frith Guardian, you do have to go above and beyond. And so we'll put that into there. And then we go here. You can, of course, head down into the comment section, not into the comment section, into the description down below, and you can follow the link to Patreon, and you can support me. And if you support me financially in any way, no matter how big or small, and you don't select the um, choose no reward option, you will get your name in the book. That is how other people have gotten their names into the book. Um... If you choose no reward, obviously I'm not going to name you because you've chosen to do so. You've chosen to support me anonymously. And quite a few people actually do that. And it never fails to amaze me that people choose to anonymously support me. Um, but yeah, so thank you very, very much. It is absolutely incredible always when people choose to support me. It never fails to amaze me that people do so. Uh, I, I just genuinely think it's amazing. I, I really do. And bring that down there so that we've now got water and we need a bit of power. I don't need power with those up there. So where's my nearest power? Oh, there's there's the power line. I do need power with them up there. So I was actually thinking I could take the power lines from here and run them straight down like that. Because I like the idea of running them down the mountain. Like that. See? I think it looks quite cool running them down the mountain there like that. So that comes all the way down there. Over to the next toll booth here. And then we can set this one up so that this one is charging $150 and $3 on each side. Like that. There we go. So we're now generating a little bit of extra cash for the city. So now let us go and have a look and see just how much cash we are generating from any of it. We've got industry over here. Wait, so there's industry. 
Total profit, 8,000. So we're still losing money on the farmland. And I got an idea of how we can change that round. We're going to open up a new district soon. Um, unless we just expand. I don't know if we're supposed to expand the districts or leave them as they are. But anyway, um, oil appears to also be losing money. So I suspect that oil is now buying in instead of uh, doing it differently. Instead of just extracting their own oil, they're now actually buying oil in. Yes, I reckon that's how Scott the Aussie is now losing money. Yes, see, he's buying money in. Don't be buying money in. Don't. Just don't. We, we don't want it. Plastics there, output a little bit. And then petroleum there is outputting. And... It's, yeah, it's, it, it, it's not working. It, this isn't right. Um, what I'm curious about... Yes, this is the problem. With the oil, is that we do actually use up all of our own oil, and then we've got no oil. Right? We drain all of it dry, and it doesn't last very long either. Production rate, 2,400. Production rate, 3,800. This one's 2,000. Um, so it's slowing down by quite a long way. I'm using up all of the oil supply. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to the oil over here. We've got oil industry workers maintenance building. I'm going to add in a maintenance building. Now plonk that one in right there. So we've got the maintenance building. So then I got a small oil pump. I got a large oil pump. Small drilling rig. Large drilling rig. Uh, so that one there is 8,000 units a week. This one is 9,600 units a week. Uh, oil sludge pyrolysis. 4,000 processes into petroleum. This processing building requires oil to produce the petroleum. And then we've got petrochemical that makes plastic. This one here, waste oil refinery, is a processing which requires oil to process. That produces 8,000 units a week. This one over here produces 4,000. So it's, it basically it's an upgraded version that's producing petroleum. I'm going to make one of them and I'm going to drop it down there. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to get the large oil drilling rig. Now this one does extract quite a bit. We've got It's got to be within this zone, but you can see where it can go out to. So I'm going to put that one down there. And then I'm going to plonk another one over here. So they're slightly overlapping. And that's going to start extracting oil from that area there. And then I want another one of these up this way slightly. That's going to start extracting oil from up this way. So there should be less oil that they have to buy in. But eventually, we're going to reach the point where we don't have any of our own oil. We're going to have to buy oil in in order to be able to do it. Overall, the industry does work. Um, it's not that one. It's that one there. Overall, the industry is making money. Oil industry here is making money. But, I mean, even if we're buying in the oil and then selling the petroleum, I think that also does work, doesn't it? If we've got that there. Of course, the way to find out if that situation does work is to... How could we find out? Because I don't know what the prices of them are. Um, like this one over here... It does... I don't know if it sells the flour to this one. We don't have enough special goods right here. We don't have enough flour. Flour is not coming through. So I've got a flour mill over here that should be producing. I've got a flour mill there. I've got more flour mills up here that should all be producing as well. And they do seem to be producing. But they're not producing enough flour for this one. Do I have... Oh, I've got a warehouse... I got a warehouse that is crammed full of flour over here, so why aren't you actually doing anything? Let's go to you. Where what is going on over here? What? Oh. They're coming in from outside of the city. They're bringing loads all the way in. That's crops they're bringing in. Isn't it? You're going to here. What's that? Farm workers barracks. You right here. Cannot be imported, has to be produced locally, can be exported. But that's the money that's coming that's those trucks are coming in. You should be taking it from here, from this one, straight to this one. And I don't see why you're not. 
So let's have a look at this bakery a minute. I should have stuff coming into and out of the bakery. Where is the stuff that's coming into and out of this bakery? Nothing. No flour is coming in. Right, that's odd. That is very, very strange that I've got no flour coming in there. I've got animal products in that one, and I've got flour in that one. Stored resource. Why aren't you taking it to this one, the pastries? Is that one in the wrong place for it? I suppose it might be. But I... I don't know. I'm, I'm going to leave that one for a minute, and we'll see what else happens. But at the moment, it doesn't seem to be producing anything at all. I don't want to go to that one. I want to go and have a look in here a second. I mean, overall, we're still making money. And the idea that I had was I put down another industry area and I don't actually grow any crops at all. I just put the animal ones down and have 100% of the crops being bought in. I don't know if that would work. Not a clue. Right now, though, look at the oil. We've now started extracting more of our own oil, so that's more breaking even. Um, so it will be interesting after a while, once the oil runs out, to find out um, if that's still going to be pro pro profitable. Overall, though, we're using our goods elsewhere in the city, and we are generating some profit. Not massive amounts of profit, because the likes of that bakery seem to have had a significant impact on this now. And I don't know why. Why are you not taking the goods over here to this one? So where are you supposed to be going? You've got all of them there. And they are not taking the goods where they're supposed to go. See? Going to here. And they're not taking the goods over to here. I've got... Yeah, I've got a truck running down there. And you're not getting anything at all. Where is it? Literally makes no sense at all. I, I do not understand this. It's like this one has now suddenly vanished and no longer exists. Which is a very strange thing. Genuinely does feel like that one sort of doesn't exist now and that they've forgotten what to do with it. I am wondering, because this one can be moved outside of the district, I'm wondering if I should move it over this side. Because I've got the other crops and stuff over here. So if I put that one there instead... I've got animal products, zoned industry there, which I think is the crops, going into that one. And then this one here is the animal products. So I could have the other warehouse, which is the flour, there. I could move that one all the way over to here as well. And then that will hopefully then be brought into this one. We'll see. We'll see if that actually does improve this or not. Uh, we can go there, and now what's it going to do? So everything that is now producing flour, all of these up here that produce flour, they don't produce it that quickly, but they should go over here to this warehouse. That's where they should be going. And then you right here still don't have anything at all, which is very bizarre. Yeah. Nothing's going into that building. But it is going into this building. See? Does that not seem a little bit odd to you? Does that not seem strange? Yeah, I can't understand what's going on with that. We'll ignore it for a minute and hope... It mu oh! I wonder if it's because he's got stuff in there and he's not taking it out but he should be bringing it down here unique factory objects you know items he should be bringing him down to that factory right there doesn't need to go any further than that it just needs to go to that one and then they sell it from that point because you look in the industry we've got in here you've got the unique factories here but you don't have anything else to go with it uh the bakery there that requires those three items and then this here this is warehousing doesn't take anything else. It's just the warehousing. And then that's regular garbage over there, so we don't need to worry about that either. 
Very, str I, I don't understand quite what's happening with that. It may be bugged, it may not be. I did have an error when I started up the game. I was assuming that it was to do with um, the game, it's uh, one, of, one of the add-ons or something, but um, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was something to do with that. We've got a slight issue with power there, so we'll put some across. There we go. So now we've got an oil rig that is now up and running. Production rate, 11,328 per week. That should help there. So we go back into this one. Three grand, we're losing two grand. Okay, agriculture has suddenly gone up a bit. Why has agriculture suddenly increased? I don't understand why agriculture has suddenly increased. Have you started buying in products? Henry Ashworth Plantation, 5,900. Flowers, I'm outputting 40 tons. 16 tons. I don't know why that one suddenly changed. Unless... Everything is ground to a halt. That's what's happened here. Everything has stopped working. Because this one's not... Re that one's not doing anything with it. It's just... It's stopped operating. Switch you off a minute. Building is turned off. Right. Turn you back on again. Not enough special goods. There are enough special goods. I've got a warehouse full of special goods right there. But you're not using them. And I'm wondering if it's something to do with the error that came up when I first started up. Um, I'm going to have to ignore it. I'm going to have to pretend that it's not happening and just completely ignore it. How are we doing over here? So <laughs> close to spilling over. So close to spilling over. There is going to be a disaster the likes of which has never been seen before. Very soon. And I'm really looking forward to it. I might actually do. I might actually just do it in the next one. Just unleash this major, major incident on the world, and then um, we, we can dam it all back up again afterwards and let it start recovering itself. That could be interesting. That could be an interesting way of doing this. So we've got. I want to do the toll roads. I've done some toll roads. I want to do more. So let's just see which seems to be the busiest roads coming in. And then that's the one that we're going to um, really try to squeeze the money out of. Uh, that's fairly busy there. All the way out to that one. And then we've got some busyness over here. We haven't looked and seen how much this is generating us. Let's have a look. Roads. A thousand at the moment. We can do better. We can do much, much better. So, uh, that one's got a bit coming in there. And then over this way, again, it's got some coming in. There doesn't seem to be any in particular that are generating us masses amounts of money. We've got a lot of traffic here, so I could do something on that. Maybe put a small one in here somewhere. What have we got in the way of toll bridges? Toll roads. Uh, one-way toll booth. Put that in. See? Drop that in there. Two-way toll booth right there. Drop one of them in there. Can't really drop that in there. I mean... That could fit. I could drop it right in there. Anybody coming into this district? And get them with the toll booth. What do you think? Did we do that? We got two way. We got a two-way two toll booth there. We could put one in here somewhere. Just trying to look around and see where it might actually fit. Uh, yeah, put it across there so it goes up the the boulevard up there. I don't think we will. I don't think we're going to put them right in the middle. But here, this could fit. We could put that in between those two right there. That's a, a two-way one there. Uh, let me remove that section there and then go back to this. Nope. Remove that section there. Right. Move you round and drop you down on there like that. And then take that road, which is this type of road here, and join you back onto there. So we've now got a toll road on there, except that i got no power on it. We can do that. I can put some power there. So now we've got power. 
Do we have water? Yes, we've already got water on it. So we've now got a toll road on here. This one is a dollar and so I'm going to... All of them that I get, I'm going to go one dollar, fifty and three dollars or monies, whichever you want to call them. So we got that one in there. That's now generating me some cash. And then... Right, we've got this... Ooh. Now, this could be interesting. A two-way large toll booth right in there. This could be very interesting. I'm going to have to remove a few of these items, but because we've got that train station right there, we've got a lot of traffic that runs through that. I'm going to try it. I'm going to see if I can completely um, drain everybody here of cash. And that is a two-way... Yeah, we'll put a two-way large booth on here. Put that one on there. Put you... Do you want to move it? There. Put that one in there. And then... Go for the road here. That is actually a nice avenue on that road. So we put that one and we join it onto there. Like that. And then everybody can come in and they can go through on the toll. So we've got that bit there. And then I just want to put that industry back on those. Like that. Right. So they'll go through. I don't know why they're turning round in order to be able to go through the tolls twice. That's up to them. If that's what they want to do, they can turn around and go through the tolls twice. So there we go. We've now got a bit of industry going through there. They're all going through these various different tracks, and then they come through onto there. So I'm draining a bit of cash out of that one. That's good. That's what we want. And then over this side, should we do something similar on here? Where else can we get? Where else can we get money from these people? I think, really, we want the one, like I said before, that's coming in and out of the city. And it's not going to be that one. I think we're looking at this one over here as being the best one to do this on. So let's go here a minute. And I'm going to remove that like that. Let's take a few of those off. And then I'm going to go like that. And I'm going to take this one here, large one way. And I'm going to join you onto there. So I want to spin that one round a minute. And that one's going to go on there. So first up, I want to remove those bits of road. And that all the way down there. Plus that all the way to there. And go back one more on there. So we've got uh, not the two-way. I want the one-way large booth there. Is that the right way? No, that's not actually the right way. It's got to be this one down here. You can't join them together. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to do them in a line like this. I'm going to do it like that. So I'm going to put one there. And one right next to it. And I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to do a line of toll booths like this coming through and I'm going to see if people actually drive right through them. <laughs> this is brilliant. Right, let's remove a bit more highway there. Because we'll do it the same when they're going out of the city as well. We'll we get them going both ways. And then one there and one there. So let's spin it round now. And we'll do them going the other way. Like that. There we go. I try and keep it sort of lined up a little bit. Bring you to there and that one up there like that. Right, so we've got a whole line of them now. This is brilliant. And we'll take you out that way first. And then you there. <laughs> Oh, I really hope they do actually start driving through these. This is going to be brilliant. We're going to make a fortune out of this. I mean, yeah, it's, it's going to be slow going for them to get into the city, but every vehicle is going to be paying us a vast sum of money to get through this lot, you know. They are going to be paying us a huge sum of money for this. This is the privilege of visiting Frithville. Of course, anybody would be willing to pay this kind of money to visit Frithville because it's a very wonderful place. 
So there, there's no sort of question as to whether or not the people would be willing to do it. Um, but you can't help but feel sorry for them. Now, let's go through there like that. Because they're, they're not some of the lucky citizens that get to live in Frithville. Obviously, you get to live in Frithville. You, you're never going to want to go and visit anywhere else because you're already living in the most perfect city in the world. The Coast Guard is warning of uh -oh. a tsunami approaching the area. Residents should avoid roads and waterfronts. Where is it? I've got a whole load of warning boys in place now. So where have they... Where is it? Intensity of 1.5 is going to hit. Where? Where has it started? It's not up there. I've got warning boys up there. I've only got warning boys down here in the bay. And... Do you see anything? I suppose there, mate, is that like anything at all? I'm, I'm still running fast, so... I don't see anything here at all. Nothing at the moment. Right, let's go and have a look back in here. I can put another one in there. We've got room for another one. Get rid of that, and I'll put this one in here. That one will go like that. So we've got uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 4. Yep, they're, they're all lined up. That's perfect. We've got those two sort of perfectly in line. That's absolutely fine. And then these over here, they're slightly out of line. But that's also just fine. That's not going to make any difference. So then we go to water. And I would go like that. And I will run along here. And I'll run that back down to make a loop like that. There. So they've now all got water. And we just need power. Which is literally just to join those two together there. And they've all now got power. Right. So next up we go and we put the charges up by 50%. Residents should avoid roads and waterfronts. Do not forget this, residents. Your very lives may depend on it. Right. Let's go to you. And let's go to you. So that's 150 on there. And then that one as well is also 150. I'm nearly done. I've nearly gone through. And put all of them up. I don't want to be greedy. I don't want to overcharge my residents down here. Come back a little bit. There we go. So no, I'm I, I'm not being greedy. I'm I'm being very nice. I'm I'm not overcharging anybody. There. Excellent. And that one there. Right. I now have all the way along toll road. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Look at those toll roads. That is just sensational. They are going to generate a lovely lot of cash for us. If only this rain would stop. This incessant, continuous rain is going to get very depressing. Now, where is this tsunami? I don't believe you anymore. You've told me twice that there's a tsunami coming in. There's nothing. I've seen no sign of flooding. I've seen no sign of anything at all. Nothing. There's no flooding there. There's no flooding over this side. I think you're trolling me. That's what you're doing. You're just trolling me. So we'll leave that go. Um, yeah, there's nothing else that we need to worry about there. Right. Now, this road here. People leaving the city. See, that there's actually plenty of people coming through here now. You can see them all. They're busy going through all of the different ones. Yes, look at these big groups of the traffic Coast Guard coming in. Is warning of a tsunami approaching the area. Residents should avoid roads and waterfronts. Yeah, where? You keep rabbiting on about this and I don't believe you. I don't think there is any such thing. Right, I'm looking round and I see no indication anywhere that any tsunami is about to form on anything or go anywhere. Right? Not down here. Even the most sort of dangerous areas for flooding. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. 
I think you are having me on. But anyway, at least the rain has now stopped. So let's go back up and have a look at this. There we go. Look at them. Ha, 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 ha. Look at them. Toll bridges. That is fantastic. Toll roads, rather, not bridges. Toll roads. That is fantastic. It is absolutely awesome. How much money are we making from these now? I'm very pleased with this. It's a nice little money at 2,000. 0.3% of our total city income is coming from there. That's pretty good. 1.1% from tourism. Industry over here. Uh, expenses. So we're making 18 grand. 5% of our income comes from there. 68% from residential zones. So residential zones are the big money earners. But we've got a bit of a money earner down here. That's not a bad thing. I'm very pleased with that. Anyway, I have just about run out of time for today's episode. We've got our oil industry has improved a little bit now. And we do need to keep an eye on the actual resources. We're draining the resources out of the area. And as they get used up, like that one right there, not enough natural resources. That one is done. 720 units per week. So it's, it's still doing something at the moment, but it's not doing a great deal. So I'm not really sure the what Coast happens Guard with that. The is warning of a tsunami approaching the area. Residents should avoid roads and waterfronts. 200 units per week used. We've got 873,738 available natural resources. Where's the rest of the oil then? we got a big chunk of it there. And then oil, oil, oil. Where is the oil? I'm looking around. i got a big load of oil right here. That seems to be the only other oil that's available. I've used all the rest. This bit here around Dog Rocket and Gooseman X, we've used most of that up. I've got a nice chunk of ore right there that we can use. But it's that one there that I'm thinking for ore mining. Plus, we've also got this big thing of oil right there. Now, I know that there is actually a um, couple of add-ons that I can get that give you permanent ore. Um, permanent oil and things like that so that they don't use up. I am also considering going for one of them. I thought that could be quite interesting. We've got another rocket launch there that we can do. Speed you up a bit. Um, yeah, the, the rocket launch. That was under unique buildings. So if I go here a minute and then we wait for this rocket launch. What effect is that going to have? Once that one launches. Because it's this, this is the one that it went to. And then you've seen all these happy faces come up. All the way back through. Right up to the back, they all seen that, and all the way up through there as well. Everybody seemed really pleased with this rocket launch. Maybe it wasn't that, maybe it was... Is it unique buildings? No. Because that was part of that one. I don't know, maybe it's just a general feeling of happiness to see the rockets being launched. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's all we've got time for. So if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. In our next episode, I think... Is warning of a oh, tsunami approaching still the area. going. Residents should avoid roads and waterfronts. Yeah, I think you're lying to me. I don't think that there is actually any kind of tsunami approaching at all. I think you're just telling porky pies. Uh... Might be something to do with a bit of extra water here, something like that. I don't know. Anyway, in our next episode, I'm going to break the wall. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it and I'm going to break the wall right here. So what I could do is I could just leave this to overflow. But I didn't really want to do that. I want to get it up to the very limit. I mean, I suppose we could. It's not going to take much now to, like, fill that up completely. Because it's, it's almost there. We've got this continual flow of liquid pouring in. So it isn't far off. We've only got like a little bit of time left before that is actually flowing right out over the edge. But no, I, want, I wanted to do this this time. And what we'll do is between those two, I will flatten it down completely. Level down to that level down there. Lower all of that down, um, maybe back to there and back to here, something like that. So we've got quite a big chunk. And then we will spend the episode watching what happens as that wall of poop water washes across this map. And creates complete and total obliteration. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting. 
So, yeah, that, that's, that's what we're going to do in our next episode. But anyway, until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.